I'm Steve Dace here from SteveDace.com. And you know, today is Good Friday, and we are getting close to the culmination of the events that a lot of you know as Passion Week or Easter. And these events sort of beg the question, what if, what if the resurrection of Jesus Christ actually happened? You know, we debate a lot of things. We, we discuss things, we argue over things, and, and they often are meaningful things. But really the most important question in all of human history surrounds the events that are being commemorated around the world by millions and millions, really billions of people this weekend. And, and that most important question simply is this. Was Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead? You can argue about absolute truth. You can argue about the weather. You can argue about the Bible or the Quran or any other religious book. You can argue about the Constitution. Is it a fixed standard? Is it a living, breathing document? You can argue about how to educate your children, whom to marry, who should even be allowed to marry. What is life? But really, all of those arguments... And again, a lot of them are meaningful, but all of those arguments really are the secondary manifestation of this most important one. And that is this. Did the resurrection of Jesus Christ actually happen? And do you know, if you don't believe it did, do you know for sure? Are you willing to bet your eternal destiny on this question? Years ago, when I first became a Christian, I had an opportunity to sit down with a group of people who did not believe the resurrection of Jesus Christ happened. And this was the question that I asked them. And I looked them right in the eye and I asked them, you know, are you sure? You know, I'm betting my eternal destiny, the eternal destiny of my wife, my children, people around me that I've shared my own faith with. I'm betting everything I have forever, you know, eternity is a very long time. I'm betting everything I have and everything I believe forever on this issue. Are you willing to make the same bet? That it didn't happen. And there was silence at the table when I brought this up. Mainly because they've never really thought about it like that. Because when you truly understand the gravity, the magnitude of whether this historical event took place or not, it will give you pause, and it will cause you to reconsider not just your own religion or spiritual well-being, but literally every single aspect of your life. Every decision you make, people you affiliate with, groups you join, stances you take, how you vote, who you marry, the way you raise and educate your children, everything will be redefined by this question. Did the resurrection of Jesus Christ actually happen or not? Now you might listen to this and you might say, well, hey, I understand this is an important debate, Steve, but the idea that it's the most important de question of them all, the most important debate of them all, that the entire way you live your life forever is predicated on how you answer this question, that might be a little over the top. Well, is it? Because whether or not you believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the historical truth is this. It is, historically the most important, or at least the most recognized event in the history of the world, even by those who don't recognize its eternal significance. And how can I say that? Because everything in this world has changed. Everything? Everything. This entire planet has changed based on this event. Nations have rose and fallen. Empires have declined. Languages have been changed. Inventions have been made, charities have been created, schools, hospitals, and orphanages have been built. Entire cultures have changed. Everything in the world has changed based on the answer to this question. Did this actually happen? Was Jesus Christ literally, physically raised from the dead? And if he was, then that begs several really important follow-up questions as well, which is, why did he die in the first place? Who raised him from the dead? What was the purpose in raising him from the dead? And if indeed he rose from the dead proving he is God, well then what does that mean for you? And what does that mean for me? 
How does that change the way we live our lives, the decisions we make? See, this really is the most important question of them all. And one of the things that disturbs me, and I'm disappointed by, is that a lot of people that have the same worldview that I have, I've noticed, are far better off defending supply-side economics, or quoting the EIB network, or their favorite Fox News contributor, than they are truly understanding the significance of the resurrection and being able to defend that the event actually happened. And if you want to know, if you're one of those people that's wondering what happened to the country I read much about when I was growing up, that my grandparents told me about, that our founding fathers wanted us to have, what happened to that country and will it come back? I'm telling you, how we answer this question will settle that debate once and for all. And it won't come back until we answer this question right. There is no middle ground with Jesus. He either was who he said he was, or he wasn't. He can't be a good moral teacher and then lie about who he was. And I don't know of any good moral teachers in the history of this world that have done the things Jesus Christ has claimed to have done. First and foremost, getting up from the grave and walking out of a tomb. No one else has done that. If that tomb is empty, that should cause you, and me as well, and all of us watching this, to seriously reevaluate and reconsider every aspect of our lives. Everything. All debates are secondary. Right now, if your marriage is falling apart, right now if you're estranged from your children, right now if you're without a job, right now if you're, ho if you're homeless, maybe you're going to lose your home, you're poor, you're losing a loved one to an illness. All of those things are very important. But they pale in comparison to this one question. Was Jesus Christ physically resurrected from the dead? And why is that question more important than even the worst of circumstances going on in your life? Because how you answer that question will determine how you overcome and achieve victory through that adversity in your life, or maybe whether you do at all. It is the most important question of them all. A hundred years from now, no one will remember who you were married to. No one will remember what job you had. No one will remember if you failed or passed that test or not, or if you got that promotion, or if you were homeless, or your mortgage came through. No one will remember these things. But this question, this question will remain. Did Jesus Christ physically, physically rise from the dead? That's the most important question of them all. Because it's the only question that determines the eternal destinies of every single human being on this planet. You know, the Christian faith is a unique worldview. A lot of you watching this that aren't Christians probably believe that Christianity is based on the Bible, it's based on dogmas or theologies, and all of the things I just mentioned are very important. Sacraments, um, the way you live your life morally. Those things are very important. I'm not trying to minimize them. But that is not what the Christian worldview is based on. The Christian worldview is based on the truth of an objective historical fact. Or as St. Paul puts it, if Christ be not raised, then our teaching is in vain, and we are the worst of sinners. Meaning, if Jesus did not walk out of that tomb, then all of our sacraments, all of our dogmas, all of our theologies are a moot point. The Christian faith is not based on esoterical or theoretical philosophy or constructs or principles or precepts. It's based on the objective truth of a historical event. Did Jesus Christ walk out of that tomb? Did he rise from the grave? Did he conquer the last enemy death? If he did, well, that will cause you to believe lots of different things. And if he didn't, well, that will cause you to believe lots of different things as well. When you boil all of this down, why are there factions in our society? Why are things happening in our culture that are happening? Why are things happening in our country that you're disappointed by? Or maybe some of you are excited by the things you're saying. The answer to all of those questions really comes down to this one question. Did Jesus Christ physically rise from the grave? Was he resurrected from death? Really, in the end, that's the only question worthy of debating. Because it's the only one that's going to determine 
what the rest of forever looks like for each and every one of us. Happy Easter and thanks for joining us here at SteveDace.com.